Hey everybody, Matthew from Goblin Pile here. I know it's been a hot minute since I've had a new video for you guys, but uh, I started a new job a while back and um, I was just taking some personal time to make sure I got back in the swing of things with the new place and uh, and I didn't want to lose focus and lose sight of things there uh, because of a hobby. Uh, but I think I'm on on two feet now on level ground and I'm ready to rock and roll. So I've got some new content I want to throw you guys away. Let me know what you think. Um, for starters, uh, I thought a good way to dive back into this would be to uh, throw together some some budget decks with the five OG plane walk, Planeswalkers. Uh, that's Gideon, Jace, uh, Liliana, uh, Chandra, and Nissa. Um, sorry, I had a little brain fart there. Anyway, uh, so these decks are all going to be fairly collectible, fairly easy to, to put together and um, uh, made of the, the cheaper, more affordable, more accessible cards that you guys can come across. Um, so for this Gideon deck, Gideon loves creatures. Uh, all of his abilities are creature-centric. They all require a creature in order to use them. Uh, as you can see, each one of these gives a buff and... Uh, the first and the last give uh, specific abilities, evergreens, to your creatures. Um, so you want to make a creature deck with him. Um, to that end, I I normally throw three creatures into a deck and, and leave myself at that uh, on most decks, most Planeswalkers, but because Gideon likes them so much, re relies on them so much, um, I decided to uh, go a little beyond that here. Uh, so we'll start with the Rolas' Champion. Oh, I should note, these are all currently standard as of uh, Eldraine being the most current set. Uh, so Rolas' Champion, pretty solid um, attacker. Got Berserker, got Double Strike. A little bit pricey, but um, it can dish out damage uh, at a decent rate. And it's also Origins, which is important because Origins is the cheapest and easiest to acquire. Uh, we have Sunblade Angel. This one's from War of the Spark. It's a blocker with First Strike and Lifelink. Um, that's useful because those buffs are really going to come in handy with Gideon, um, and they're going to make him more resilient. Her more resilient? I guess angels are females? I don't know. Uh, Knight of Autumn. This one's in here because it's got a decent body, uh, for 10 mana, and also, um, the enter the, entering the battlefield ability is pretty nice. It'll destroy an opponent's non-land support. Um, then we have Swiftblade Vindicator. I think this is my favorite red-white weenie. In standard currently, uh, it's just a, a powerhouse card. It's affordable price, three 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 power toughness, nice little uh, uh, suite of abilities there that are all kind of synergistic and they work well with each other. It's a good one to have on your side. And I've got a couple gates here. Uh, if you notice back at the beginning of this uh, when I when I previewed uh, when I showed Gideon and his his abilities. Uh, Gideon's primary mana bonus is in white, but his secondaries are blue and green, and these are the, the two gates that provide the best um, return for investment there. Uh, next we have Mortify. This will destroy an opponent's creature, or an enchantment if you can't destroy a creature. Uh, then I have Jaim de Tome. This is in here for a draw. Um, I would have liked to put in Alhamart's Archive, but that card is a... Uh, it's a mythic, and I was trying to keep this down as low as I could below, you know, I wanted to keep just one mythic in here. Uh, and then we have Inquisitive Puppet. Uh, this is a very cheap blocker to put out, and uh, when it dies, it creates another creature, which is nice. And it also has a tiny little bit of draw focused in there, too, because when you play it, you get to draw a card. Uh, and then finally, I just, require, I just acquired this the other day. Uh, this is uh, Gideon Black Bait Blade. This is his Vanguard card from the War of the Spark. Solid card. I actually really like it a lot. I was uh, reticent to try to go after it, but I got lucky on a pull from the uh, Elite Packs and came up with this one. So uh, all of his things are pretty solid. That first ability, that 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 universal ability, gives uh, a buff. The next one gives some nice um, evergreens, and then the last one there. It has some dual threat removal there. It can either get rid of a creature uh, and a vanguard. All right, so we'll use that deck. We'll go up against um, uh, Karn here. Karn, Koth. 
Uh, and as you can see, I've already played 11 matches with this deck. Um, done a lot of a lot of play testing, and it's done fairly well. I don't think I've lost a single round. Uh, maybe one. I can't remember. Who can remember the losses? They're not important. All right. So right away, we've got a decent enough board. We'll be able to probably maybe get the uh the vindicator out i don't know we'll see i'm gonna go for this blue black and then drop down into the red and see what we get nice we'll get a green out of that Ooh, that was awesome that is an ideal opening match oh and that's even better because now we get a mana screw cough and take away his his mana so we'll go we'll definitely take the red there and then it'll open up the black one for us too which is nice Oh, he's going to get a match five, though. Bummer. That's okay. We don't care. We're going to win anyway, because we have brains, and Koth does not. Uh, okay. Eroes' champion uh, is already less mana to fill than the angel, so I think I'm going to try to get that into play uh, just because, and then we'll see where that leaves me. Um... Okay, so ideally you want to maximize the mana you can gain with any given match. I know, shocking um, shocking proposition there. It's hard to believe, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm also concerned because this is Gideon and his he, he likes creatures. As you can see here, I've got 14 loyalty. I want to be able to put 15. I want to be able to use that 15 ability. So what I'm going to do, uh, I guess Koth has... Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna bonkers on me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go over here on the left, blue and white, and see what that gets me. Nice. Oh, and there he goes. And every single time with this guy, I swear, he gets a cascade, and I get <laughs> nothing. Uh, it's it's irritating. It's quite irritating. So we're gonna buff our guys there. We got two Berserkers that are both uh, beefcakes, and then I'm going to go ahead and get the Angel in play, too. Yeah, and as you can see, this deck is uh, its fairly straightforward. You know, Koth doesn't mess around. He's, uh, he's, wow, he's casting a big pile of nonsense to throw at me. Good lord, dude. That's fine. You're dead. All right. Well, I was worried I was going to have to take a punch to the face there, but I guess not. Um, okay, so we want to we want to minimize his ability to gain any kind of mana, any kind of traction. So, um, but we also need to get stuff in play. I think what I'll do uh, is take this blue down here because um, that will not that will keep him from from scoring any mana points there on his red bonus. Yeah, that was a good move. Uh, let's see. And we'll we'll put the we'll put Pinocchio here. Um we'll put him in there as the next creature so that we can try to have another blocker out. Um Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, he's going to take that white match now. You watch. Oh, that was surprising. All right. All right, Pinocchio, let's go. Let's do your thing. We'll go. We'll go for. Yeah, we'll go for the white. That's what we'll do. We got a blocker. We got another card out, and this match is going to be over. Here. We're going to win. It's going to be great, and this is how. You play with Gideon. Um, it's not a very complex strategy. It's pretty quick and straightforward and simple and easy to understand. Put stuff on the board, punch the other guy in the face with it. Um, if you guys have questions about my, my reasoning for including certain cards or maybe why I left other cards out, uh, or, you know, why I take a certain match or another, please, 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 please hit me up. Shoot me your questions. I um, I really want to get this video thing spun back up. Nalthazar has inspired me to 
um, to start re reattacking on my 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 YouTube channel. I say my. It's for the the Jeep the Goblin Pile team. So it is ours. It is a brain trust, uh, and you'll you'll find lots of good advice there. If you have specific questions, ideas. Um, suggestions, please hit me up. Like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. All right, talk to you later.